You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another interesting episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. Happy to be here with you today. And as always, thankful that you're spending a few minutes of your very valuable time with us today. Definitely do appreciate it. We've got a pretty short, simple show for you today, kind of talking about what happens when you lose your point cloud, your data in the ray cloud of PIX40 should be rather fast. Uh, That said, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of our instructors on the new classes that they are producing. I just want to say thanks to Kara. Thank you to Jake and thank you to Tom. You guys are an incredible part of this community and uh, very grateful to have you. So thank you very much. Also, before we play that question, it is sponsored by our experience training. If you haven't watched the video, this is by far one of the most uh, comprehensive trainings that we have ever offered. It's kind of like a mini fly-in, except you get to hang out with us for seven days, stay on site with the flight crew, enjoy your meals, three days of training, two days of completing a real world drone job, where then you're going to present your deliverables to a board where you'll be graded the student who has the best media well you're gonna win a thousand dollars cash and we're gonna cap off the class with our business scaling course so you can automate the most mundane aspects of your business to do what you love the most be creative and well continue making money and scale your business from the start if uh, if that sounds fun to you you want to make memories for life and really truly test yourself and have a great time doing it, you're going to want to join us, I promise. Check out the experience training. I'm doing a uh, Fix 48 mapping project, and I have uh, lost my ray cloud. I don't know how to get it back. Do I have to start all over again? I just got a black black screen just pops up. And I've been this about 10 times already. I need some help. Stop. Help. Oh. <laughs> Warships approaching. Stop. Looks <laughs> Chinese. Stop. Near Alaska. Stop. <laughs> uh, you know, Martin, um, I chuckle because I feel your pain. <laughs> I can only imagine if I was in your seat trying to do, well, hi, girl, trying to do uh, what you're doing. I'd run into the same issues and be having the same message out to the uh, drone you crew of, please help. I need some help. (laughs) Definitely. Well, so let's go over what can typically cause this problem. First of all, uh, you know, I always tell all of our students uh, to power cycle their PIX40 when they have a problem. Typically, that tends to solve the issue. Um, But based off the fact that he said he's tried something 10 times, I'm guessing he's already done that. So what can cause you to lose your point cloud in the ray cloud? Uh, One thing that we do know that happens a lot is if you essentially re-optimize too many times. If you re-optimize more than three times, it's almost guaranteed that you will lose your data. It does happen. And I will say, in in PIX40's latest update, we noticed in class that some of these errors were happening more often than normal. Hmm. Uh, but that said, if he re-optimized more than three times, unfortunately... Yep, you're gonna have to start from uh, from the yeah, you're gonna have to start from the beginning. Which brings up, how can you avoid this? Uh, one thing that you can do is you can run your project step by step and then save those results in a separate folder than what Pix4D automatically imports the deliverables to. Hmm. Because as soon as you go to the next step, those files are overwritten. So. If you don't want to start all the way from the beginning and you had saved your project after step one in a separate folder, you can go back, reopen that project, and then go back to step two and three. Um, But unfortunately, this is a common problem, and uh, it really happens when you're merging a lot of different data sets together. But uh, that's the solution. Super fast show today. So, Rob, what'd you have for breakfast? (laughs) (laughs) Nothing. Uh, It was a a three-mile run, right, or something like that? 
and a half. There you and go. And I'm hungry. All right. Well, I'm getting hangry. On that note, we're going to get the <laughs> hell out of here. No one wants to deal with someone who's hangry. I know that firsthand. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks again for joining us on this ultra, ultra short episode. Uh, if you are here with us still, make sure to check out that episode on Remote ID with Jonathan Rupert and Tyler Brennan uh, because that particular lawsuit could have ripple effects across the industry. So make sure you are up to date on exactly that because there's a lot of information there. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You.